If you look at a modern printed circuit board, you will almost certainly see some rectangular black packages with silver colored terminals protruding from the edges. We often refer to these packages as components or devices and with good reason. They look like components, are purchased as components, and typically function as components. Nonetheless, they are not actually components like resistors, capacitors, inductors, and transistors. Rather, these are actually circuits. Transistors can be extremely small, which allows us to condense sophisticated functionality into a small physical area. By integrating a circuit consisting of multiple transistors and other components into a single package, IC designers allow other engineers to benefit from the ease with which semiconductor devices can be miniaturized, and complex, high-performance designs can be quickly and easily incorporated into countless different systems. Because engineers can purchase this design as a proven, thoroughly characterized IC, instead of creating a customized circuit that does more or less the same thing. Here we can see the basic structure of an integrated circuit. The die is a piece of semiconductor material, usually silicon, that has been transformed into a functional circuit by means of doping, chemical vapor deposition, metallization, and photolithography. This fabrication process actually produces a wafer composed of multiple circuits, which are then separated by dicing. The die is enclosed in a package, and bonding wires form electrical connections between the package's terminals, also called pins, and the corresponding pads on the die. Integrated circuits can be divided into two general categories based on their physical structure. Through-hole ICs, like the one on the right, have longer pins that extend through a PCB and are soldered from the bottom. Surface mount ICs, like the one on the left, have shorter pins that do not extend to the other side of the board. Surface mount IC packages without protruding pins are common today, such as this TQFN with non-protruding terminals and a large thermal pad on the bottom. This is a ball grid array, or BGA package. It has preformed solder balls on pads underneath the package. Both of these types of packages can serve PCB area, but they are also difficult or impossible to solder by hand. For more details, check out the link in the description or visit allaboutcircuits.com.